This gathering was called by the Mayan people, uh, specifically by Don Alejandro Cerillo Perez, who is considered by most the head of the Mayan people, and other tribes. They weren't the only ones. There were other tribes that called for this meeting at the same time. And the reason it was called is because the, the Mayan calendar had, were living in a very specific time. And this ceremony and the ceremonies that are taking place had to happen within this very narrow amount of time for the prophecies to be completed. What is secretly behind this uh, is n not just the prophecies in terms of what they believe, but it, it has to do also with uh, ancestors returning from long ago into this time. For the world, uh, there's something very important for them to understand about what, it, what this is. These are tribes from all over North and South America and from other countries, Japan and Europe and all, all over. They hold something within themselves, within their knowledge, their wisdom, their experience, uh, their DNA. They have something in them that if we don't understand, and by we I mean the modern world, uh, we will not be allowed to continue. We either remember it or we start over. Modern world thinks that we are the greatest thing that ever lived on Earth. We think that uh, our technology is fantastic and, and uh, nothing this great has ever been on Earth. But in truth, this is not the first time. This has happened many, many times before where uh, races have discovered the technology far beyond what we have now and then learned the same lesson that uh, Spirit is far greater than anything that we can create physically. But still we are in this point now where we think that, that we don't need uh, the ancient past. We don't need that. That, that, that. All we need is our modern understanding of where we're going. But anyone with reason can see that, that modern technology is not sustainable. Meaning that we're gonna, if we continue on this path, we're all gonna die. And, and it's missing something. The t the, this technology would not really be a problem if there was one thing was added to it, and that is the ancient knowledge. And if we don't understand this, uh, we're in serious trouble. If we do understand this, and, and we listen to the ancient world, and to the indigenous people, and the ancient cultures, and understand their viewpoint of life, which is very different than ours, they're in a dream world. We're in a logical mind world. We're in two different worlds. But if we understand their world and how they were able to sustain their lives for millions of years, and we bring that and combine it into who we are now, then we will be able to go on.